Good morning, you guys. So I'm just about all moved in to my new apartment. I brought over all of my books, my journals, my paintings, which took a lot of aller-retour. So I did like the last one yesterday. I still have some things that I have to take like to school, like, you know, all of my paints and things like that. But um, yeah, now uh, today I am going to go to Laura Merlin, which is kind of like the Home Depot of France and get some white paint because um, the landlord actually said like I could repaint if I wanted to. And the place is like in pretty good condition paint wise, but you know, like there's some cracks and things like that. And she said that I could and she would pay for it, which was really, really nice of her. So I'm gonna do that. Um, also gonna do some other things to make it really cozy. Like I wanna get like some nice vanilla candles. I'm also gonna go to this event later this week, which is called uh, Plante pour tous, je crois. Je crois que ça s'appelle. Uh, les plants pour tous et en fait ils vendent les plants uh, à un prix vraiment imbattable um, it's all like 5 euro to 10 euro plants um, and like really nice ones too and I think like plants really brighten up the place you know but yeah pretty much all moved in So as I'm filming this, it's not yet Christmas. Um, it's a couple weeks before Christmas, actually. Um, oh, excuse me. <laughs> After my friends found out like everything that's been going on about like uh, me and Alex separating and stuff like that, and how we'd move into like a new place, they were like, "So what are you doing for Christmas?" And I was like, "I don't know yet." Like, and I'm honestly not somebody that. Um, like really needs to make a big deal out of holidays like i don't even tell people when it's my birthday like i just for me like i feel like every day can be special and of course like i love getting dressed up in the holidays and stuff like that like i love you know like when i was younger we used to like drive around um my neighborhood in michigan and like look at the christmas lights and like my mom would go christmas caroling and stuff and i think all of that is fun but at the same time like for me it's not necessary to like feel good you know like if i didn't have anybody to spend christmas with i would honestly just like wake up and like make myself a nice meal and like dance and i don't know i feel like i don't know maybe this is like because of my aquarius ness but i feel like i'm very self-sufficient like i've always been okay being alone um like i can spend like two weeks without seeing anybody and i just don't even think about it you know but my friends were so cute and they were like, um, we're coming over to your place for Christmas. And like, you know, they have their own families and stuff. So they didn't have to do that. But I thought that was really sweet. So um, throughout this process, like, I've really been thinking about like, what it means to be a good friend. And I mean, I feel like I am a good friend. I mean, who's going to say that they're not? But at the same time, like, there have been moments where I, I don't know. I feel like I could be a better friend because, you know, sometimes like if people would text me, I'd take like a long time to text back and like I could justify that and be like, oh, but you know, it's because I want to write back like a really long response. And it just made me realize like if you have friends, you are so rich, you know, and it made me like inspires me to be like a better friend. And yeah, I don't know. It's one of the things I've been thinking about, like things that I want to do for the new year. And stuff like that and like of course we all are because it's December and it's like the end of the year and there's so many goals and things I want to accomplish but um really keeping the faith and trying to find like that light at the end of the rainbow like the other day I was sitting in bed I was like a little bit down like not depressed or anything but just a little bit like eh. you know like days when you wake up and you just don't you feel like getting out of bed because you're like Ugh, I'm just like cold and tired but I don't know I got this song in my head and I started singing it and I was like let me put that song on and then like two minutes later I was just like dancing and having like the time of my life and I was like all of this came from action from movement from not letting myself just like sit in bed and like do nothing like the moment that you start doing something and moving and like reacting you it's like energy you know energy feeds energy um so yeah oh my god I also want to show you guys I also um it's like the little things in life you know I think I showed you guys on Instagram if you guys followed me, but I found 
this journal online. I'm so obsessed with it. It's like this little unicorn. I, uh, if there's one thing that like I really, really value, it's like a beautiful journal. So I posted about it and you guys actually wrote that this is a really old print called uh, The Unicorn in Captivity. I'm reading the back because it's actually written and I didn't even know. And it was, um, the story behind it is it's like, um, these cap these hunters trying to capture this unicorn because it's like so rare you know and isn't that so gorgeous it reminded me of my artwork in a way and also i don't know it's funny like what we're attracted to like what artists were attracted to like what kind of people what kind of energy you know yeah i i really am looking forward to the new year let me know down below one thing that you really want to bring like what is the energy that you guys want to bring into the new year you know that's what i want to know Good morning you guys so it is a sunny beautiful day um let me show you guys such a difference from yesterday am i right isn't it crazy how just like the sun shining can change your mood yes Du coup, hier, j'ai passé la journée à faire la pentière. Je pensais aller euh, à l'avant mon plan pour tous, mais non, en fait, euh, j'étais juste trop fatiguée. Et puis après, euh, il a commencé euh, à pleuvoir. So I was like, I don't really want to go out when it's raining. Like, eh. so I just painted and like put on some music and danced, and it was a really good time. So I thought that since we couldn't go to the plant market yesterday, that we could go today since it's such a beautiful day outside, and it would be like an opportunity as well to like kind of discover my new neighborhood, like all the little streets, all the little boulangerie, all like you know the little side. A path that you can walk down. I don't know those yet and so it's really fun to just like discover those things. Something I love like when you move as well is like 
picking new kind of favorite spots like you know your favorite flower shop or you know your boulangerie or like your place that you go get cheese only in france right would you have like your place to get cheese we are four days away from christmas it's like kind of crept up on me and since i'm hosting christmas this year in my little studio um i have kind of a lot to do uh i'm going to like make us dinner and um i'm going to i still need to like wrap presents and stuff and my friend she's gonna bring over like little decorations which is super cute i don't even have a christmas tree which is kind of crazy i thought that maybe at the plant market i would find like a little it doesn't have to be like a christmas tree but like maybe like a little a little plant that has like very royal vibes i don't know lots of stuff to do today we're gonna be wrapping presents we're gonna go to the plant market i'm kind of feeling like this whole new messy chic vibe i have going on i just like wake up and my hair is like you know whatever i'm all a turtleneck uh, but yeah before we go i want to thank today's video sponsor which is lingoda so as you guys know i love working with lingoda i've worked with them many many times in the past so if you guys don't know what lingoda is it's an online language school with classes in english spanish french german and what i really love about their classes is they focus on getting fluent fast by you know speaking with native qualified teachers with the new year coming up and like really resetting our goals maybe what would be on your vision board this year is getting fluent in a new language so lingoda makes it easy by having classes 24 7 from anywhere in the world maybe you guys are also college students like me which means you're on a tight budget but what's really cool with the lingoda language sprint the promotion that they're running right now is they offer for a hundred percent cashback refund if you finish all the classes the next sprint starts the 15th of january 2021 so if you want to get fluent in a language this new year you can sign up by january 10th by clicking on the link down below and if you use this code you get 10 euros off the first month all of the rules and event details will be listed on the link go to website without further ado let's get back to the video so if you guys are ready to go explore my new neighborhood in the fifth arrondissement and go to this plant pour tous where all the plants are supposed to be priced at a super good price then let's go <music> So I just got home from Plante pour tous. It was really very sympa au début. Il avait pas grand monde, uh, mais après vers la fin il y avait uh, quand même des gens, je pense, qui achetaient, uh, qui faisaient les achats pour uh, Noël, etc. So yeah, I would definitely go back, but um, I just went a little batshit crazy with with the plants. I've never in my life own plants um i've lived in like 
houses that have like gardens and stuff but like inside plants i've never had them before so hoping for the best i thought that i would do like a little haul for you guys because i got some really really nice nice looking plants um <laughs> and also like yeah so i went a little overboard but it's kind of like when you go thrift shopping and you see like all this stuff in like the dollar bin and you're like but it's so cheap like i have to get it and also i figure since i'm like a first time plant owner that if ever i decide like it got a little too overwhelming then i you know there's nothing stopping me from putting a few up for adoption or giving some as like gifts and stuff um there was actually like a lady in the a bus on my way home and she's like oh um uh, these are like such a good idea for gifts and stuff and i didn't think about it before but it's so true because like everybody like you know likes plants i guess you know so yeah i'm gonna show you guys uh, what I got and if you guys are like experts on plants or whatever you guys can give me advice on like how to keep them alive Because I definitely don't want to kill my new little babies, you know, so let me show you what I got So I got this one Which they call like a lipstick plant and I think it's really cute And I'm gonna hang it like on this little bar that I have by my shower so it'll like hang down I also got this one. Yeah, this one I think will look really cute on my shelf. And I really wanted some of these because I just love how they look when they like hang down. This one is called like a green ripple plant. I got two of those, so maybe I'll give one as a gift. Um, next for these little guys, this was only like three euros, which is nothing, and it's an aloe vera plant. I think it's really cute. Okay, so that's it for the little guys. So now for the big daddies. So I really, really like this one. Um, it just reminds me of Florida in a way, you know? I have no idea how tall it's actually gonna get. And then this one is a monster plant, it's called, or monstera in French. And um, I really like the way like the leaves look on this. I think it's really cool and tropical looking. Next, we have this guy. I like the colors. It's got like some red leaves that are really pretty. And lastly, we have this one. Uh, J'étais pas trop sûre, mais je me suis dit, écoute, euh, ça coûtait, je pense, c'était 7 euros. Et euh, je me suis dit que si jamais euh, ça allait pas, je pouvais juste euh, donner un pote. Euh, voilà. So, if you guys are plant people and you have any tips for me, um, let me know now i'm going to try and like figure out what i'm gonna put all these um and then i am gonna make some dinner and then i don't know it's getting kind of late i need to edit a video du coup je vais me faire un petit manger and i'll see you guys later this week <laughs> Look at my little yucca plant. Cute. And then I put two little plants up there, but I think I'm gonna give them to my friends for Christmas. When I was younger, I I know I look like shit, but it's because I was having a tough little morning. I look, you know who I look like? Have you guys seen Sweeney Todd? The the lady that ends up getting poisoned and then she was like um like pennies for she turns like homeless that's what i look like right now i'm having a little bit of a tough morning because so yeah i just posted my youtube video like telling you guys like about me moving and stuff and it's just like a lot of emotions like um like before i posted it i was feeling really good and like uh, i don't know and then once i just kind of put it out there it's just like just it's kind of a way to kind of it's like a chapter closing basically and it's just a big release basically so i just like was reading all your guys's nice comments and kind of like letting myself have a nice cry i've been listening to like beach house a lot i love that band because it's like nostalgic but also hopeful you know and then I ate some chocolate. I really love really cheap um, chocolate 
Christmas chocolate. Like, I always love, like, those chocolate coins. Um, I'm a pretty healthy eater, but, like, when it comes to chocolate, like, I don't give a fuck. I will eat the bag. I love it. Like, chocolate is the way to my heart, you know? So... Uh, yeah, today I'm sp it's like a couple days until Christmas and Christmas Eve my friends are coming over and we're gonna um, We're gonna like I'm gonna make dinner. I will see how that goes. I'm not like a great cook, but I'm hoping that like Since I'm gonna cook it while they're here. They can like maybe give me tips <laughs> and um but before they like come for Christmas, I need to like do my laundry and I just don't really, that doesn't sound like fun to me right now to do laundry. I'm trying to think what sounds like fun. I want to go get some flowers like as a present for myself for like being so vulnerable and putting myself out there in a way like, you know, it's a lot. So I want to do that. Um, I don't think like what sounds like fun. I just want to have fun today. I don't want to fuck around. Like I don't want to do chores. I need to send out prints, um, like postcard prints. Like I have a lot of things to do, but I want to do fun things and not the other things, you know? <laughs> My apartment is actually coming together really nicely. It's really cute. I've been watching like a lot of design tips and stuff like and I like learned a lot of tips about like when you're living in a small space like how to make it seem too not too cluttered you know and one of the tips that I learned is not to have anything that's like smaller than your fist like around the house like or even if you have like papers or like things that make your place look cluttered like just kind of hide them behind things so like let me show you let me show you even like my little desk area, like I have some things behind this painting, but I just think it looks better to kind of hide things. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but whatever. And then like my plants, I put like some plants like over here in the corner. Because since this is like older tile, I really like it. But at the same time, like it has like some decoloration, especially near the wall. So actually, I was worried about my plants because I'm like, ugh. I'm gonna forget to water them like just just the kind of person I am I'm, I've always kind of been like a little bit chaotic, you know and um But I learned that actually most of my plants they only need to be watered once a week And if you water them too much, you're gonna drown them. So I'm like, okay I just need to water them like once a week and make sure they're getting a little bit of sun So yeah, I don't know. I feel like good I told you guys that I would be honest about how I'm feeling and like check with you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I used to kind of like always think like when I was vlogging like oh people don't care about this kind of shit. Like what's really going on in your head. But now I kind of think that it's important to like just sit and talk to you guys sometimes. And not just like show like pretty montages and stuff. So <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know one of the things that's also helping me right now and like is like I feel like I've always found like beauty in every kind of emotion that I've had like I don't know and like of course like it feels at first when you're vulnerable like it can make you feel like oh you know like you're just you're putting yourself up for like so much like, so many people could, like, hurt you, you know? But I think, like, there's, like, this quote that's, like, your experience in the world depends on whether you view the world as a friendly world or as, like, um, a world that wants to harm you or, like, give you harm, you know? So I try to, like, wake up every day and tell myself, like, everybody in this world wants the best for me. And, like, of course, I know there's some people are, like, um, be careful of, like, traffickers or like you know what I mean but like I think like inherently people are good you know and I think that's really important to if you want to have like a good experience and you want to be happy in this world and like not like live from a place of fear and live instead from a place of love you have to like approach the world 
thinking that people love you and they want the best for you, you know? So I trust that even if haters are gonna hate, the majority of people are nice, so. We're gonna get on with our day, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just sit here and I'll see you guys on Christmas or something, I don't know. So I bought myself tulips, but I didn't have enough room for all of them, all of the bouquet in the other vase, so I put the rest in just like this measuring cup. <laughs> Regardez-moi ça, c'est petit sapin de Noël, tout mignonne. <laughs> Yesterday I went out and did all of like my grocery shopping for the dinner tonight. Um, I made sure to get like some special care, like this is kind of like a tradition in France. Some red wine. Ah ouais, et tout, hein. Quand j'étais petite, je faisais genre croire aux gens que je parlais anglais parce que je voyais tellement que sur un petit lit que j'étais capable d'imiter les. Tu peux apprendre les accents aussi avec ça. Such a huge ego. I love my big ego. It's too much. Like J'ai eu, montrez-moi tes cadeaux euh, C'est mon cadeau ici Notre <rire> équipe qui est là, qui est belle, avec So I didn't film an outro for this video, but I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year and say thank you for all the love and support recently. It means so much to me. All of your comments, you guys are the best. And on that note, I will leave you with a montage of photos from Christmas Eve that I found in my camera roll that I don't remember taking. I love you guys. <laughs>